Well, here you go. I'm going to a little quick video for y'all. Uh, Friday, December 8th, we're about one or we're after what we're just after 1 30 p.m. Uh, <clears throat> let's see any updates. Uh, grains hauled. Uh, had the combine outside yesterday. Uh, had it outside kind of halfway. Let me go turn these lights back on when you're not really inside working you kind of keep all the lights off so don't really need them all on too bad but come in here out of the wind to do this video a little bit i guess uh halfway washed it i mean didn't didn't wash it but rinsed it off uh now i'll say it was not a grade a wash i will give it about a c uh just a quick rinse off uh <clears throat> and still windy as heck re re really 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 windy today uh i do got i do want to go up and vacuum the hopper out i hear short here in a minute uh oh uh, the pressure washer and don't ask me why we've got two ends that will never stay here they always disappear well you don't think about it till you're going to use pressure washer which when you're doing tillage uh, clean off, you don't really care. The turbo one's a great for that since it really blows the crap off. So you don't really care. But when you're going to wash something a little more meticulous, uh, you kind of care because that's kind of when you want to be careful. Don't take the paint off for a decal. We did that. Uh, so yeah, so I halfway washed it with the turbo tip. Uh, really got a lot of the grime off. Uh, got a first good first sweep of it. So it is done. Like I said, to really do a better deal, I want the other tip, which I've ordered some. Could probably just rent a Terre Haute and got it, but I'm not going there, which we are going there tomorrow. So might just make a trip down and see if can buy some and kind of go from there uh, <clears throat> and just see. I uh, know I got a text message from somebody, but I'll finish that story here and just uh, go to that story in about a few minutes. Uh but there's the car, Dang it. Uh, which that where the unloading logger is, that is where the chain runs. Uh, quick question, anybody out there? Anybody out there, do you run the chain oilers on there? Uh, I was just curious. Uh, somebody said they're very, very well. Now, one guy said it works great, but it just makes a mess. Uh, I, I don't mind oiling the chains. Uh, Gives me an excuse to get out. Uh, I will say this, I'm kind of relaxed on them. I don't do as much as I should. I mean, I try to do it once a day or or at least every other day. I try to. Uh, was easier to do when you had more help. It just seemed like when you're outside doing it now, you're just wasting more time. Uh, but need to just get more of the habit. Uh, not saying I'm interested in having one, but I'm just curious what everybody thought. I know. Somebody said you controlled it with your unload and auger in and out, which seemed like that's to me, that seems like an awful lot. But, I mean, I will say this, the, <clears throat> on this 7250, and I noticed the other chain was the same way on the, on the 30 series with this uh, unload and auger control, or unloading auger control. Uh, I like that chain does not last. Uh, but you're also, it's spinning pretty fast too. But anyway, uh, not really looking, but kind of looking. Uh, uh yeah you can see it's kind of ran down but underneath the shields here it's not done i didn't want to get really any water especially with that tip because i knew that would kind of really <coughs> pour water where i didn't want it so hopefully i can get that get them tips here and which they're saying next week could be back uh not nice as it is right now but maybe less west windy would be a great get it back out get the hopper cleaned out but anyway back to my what i guess really the video is about uh I'd seen a deal, uh, an auction, a dealer closeout, or reduction inventory. I'd seen that, and uh, I kind of looked through it, not really interested in anything. Uh, seen they had a 730C ripper for sale, or at the auction. I thought, well, I need to at least keep an eye on it. <clears throat> not interested, but at least keep an eye on it. <coughs> 730B we had, nice ripper, just... It served its time, uh, been a great one. Uh, just kind of 
not wanting to upgrade. I wasn't. I was, but not really wanting to. But 730C has got some nice advantages to it. I think that I don't have. Uh, lead shanks would be nice. Uh, this one did not have it. Didn't care because we. It's the same thing we got. Just with the 730C with the C upgrades, which basically it made the disc uh, wider or not wider. You got bigger. Di you got bigger discs. Uh, I think they're 24 inch blades. Uh, I'm thinking ours. Uh, I'm thinking ours was 22. I can't say exactly, uh, but no big deal. Uh, but basically, it made the disc. You had more room between the discs and the, between both front disc gangs. Uh, levelers were hit more heavy duty. Uh, odds and ends stuff. Uh, knick knack stuff. Uh, that's all. It's all in a brochure. I seen. I, I found. I had which from way back when. <clears throat> But bidding out went pretty slow. I didn't really bid on it, and I started oh, bidding on it uh, Wednesday, really. Uh, dealer had told me a price, kind of where to stick to. <coughs> I hadn't decided where I was going to go, where I was going to go on a price. And uh, kind of last night, me and a guy from Kentucky was kind of, uh, me and there was a guy from Illinois involved in it, and somewhere else, and me and the guy from Kentucky had been in it Kind of from the get go. Uh, held today. Uh, I he bidded last night, and I'm like, nope, I'll wait. Just kind of think on a little bit, and it was still way under my bid for what I was thinking. Uh, ended up got it bought. Uh, got it bought for less than I was expecting to pay. Uh, still waiting for the auction to close. Uh, how that works? The auction's got to close for before you can. Uh, look up how to pay for it, which I mean, I basically, we pay the auctioneer, what I was told. When I talked to him earlier this morning or last week, and you're going to get your butt kicked, Cap, for tearing that up. Uh, yeah, I'm going to destroy that, but yeah, not on my great list right now. But, uh, yep, so ended up, get it, got it bought, uh, got a guy that's going to haul it, which I talked to him last week. I need to call them here shortly. Uh, but, yep, but can't, I don't know anything more than that. Uh, got it bought, uh, and a guy just texted me on wanting my ripper, maybe, wanting to talk to me. So, need to get off here making that video, but I guess there is an upgrade coming to the farm. Uh, was not planned. Uh, had no intentions of upgrading. Uh, put mine away. I had every intention was going to run it. No plans to trade, just this one coming about. Uh, would always love to have an 870, 875. Uh, they're out of my price range. Uh, totally, by far out of my price range, and uh, kind of, I guess I can kind of <clears throat> say a little bit now, uh, uh, I have bought uh, a garden tiller, or a big, uh, or looking at buying a tiller for our garden tractor to till up our garden, so I haven't, did, haven't officially pulled that one yet. Uh, Kind of got one located, but still kind of him on around. But uh, will be some changes to the farm this year, and uh, got one more deal. Uh, we're kind of working on uh, uh, being no money outlay <clears throat> on that one. Uh, basically, gonna go back to uh, ninety nine percent sure. Gonna gonna, gonna do it. We just kind of got to get some details kind of <clears throat> worked out and ironed out. Uh, but will we go back to running Zyway in furrow? Or not in furrow, but will we go and we'll be running Zyway. Uh, FMC has got a program to put the stuff on your planner and all that. So I think that's going to be a pretty lucrative deal. Uh, we've always liked it before. I mean, back when they had issues with it. We never we had some planted and never had no issues whatsoever. So this here will be a foam deal. Uh, kind of lucrative deal. Uh, uh <clears throat> kind of with our acres what we have uh we are under it but you can buy some other fmc products and offset that uh so that is what we're gonna do uh due to the acres we farm really it don't quite work out quite right uh but uh <clears throat> got some news uh this summer and don't know nothing more about it <clears throat> know nothing more about it uh Got some news uh, this summer that uh, my biggest landlord, my uncle's landlord, which I farm most most of the ground of that farm of that ground anyway, but uh, uncle farms some too, and uh, got told by one of them that uh, they've been approached to uh, install a solar farm. 
or to put a solar farm on their property. So uh, <clears throat> that is an unknown fact going forward. Uh, was told four to five years, who knows? I mean, just say three years, somewhere in there. Uh, so like I told my seed guy, it's like, hey, if I lose that, I'm really, re really not going to, this is really not going to ever work out anytime soon. So if we can get this done now and hope we get two years, hope we get three years, hope we get five years out of it before it ever comes to fruition. Who knows? I, I don't know. That's all I'll say on that, but just, uh, I hate solar farms. I just, it's uh, sad to see and there's. Uh, one other nearby me, one other going in, uh, and the guy that lays my tile, there's 3,600 acres there, 1,800 is going in, as, is in now, or basically in progress, and 1,800 in phase two, which he said basically year two, so frustrating, and yeah, then to see you could potentially lose your best ground you have, uh, now, so a lot of unknown questions right now, uh, uh, and basically uh with no really chance to gain any acres hardly i mean just very very minimal chance uh so yeah that's kind of not not a good situation kind of not really good hearing it i mean yeah you at least know now you've got some time to maybe make a plan but not knowing if it's a go or not is uh yeah what do you do so yeah kind of a sticking point uh i got the, rip, rip, the ripper i got bought right uh mine here's five, like I said, was going to use it. Never had no intentions not to, but I think this will be a better upgrade. Uh, the beefier levelers. Uh, and this will last a long time. Uh, and also, kind of what I look at it, uh, whenever my uncle does retire, I got a better I got a better ripper. I got a better ripper now. Uh, more beefier build up. Uh, so, that's a plus. Uh banker was okay with it she thought it was a good deal if uh whatever i thought uh but like i said wasn't planning on buying any, anything else but that just kind of happened to come and kind of glad i bought it now uh like anything you buy you got reservations i mean like that new tractor or the used tractor i bought kind of when i heard that news it's like well i didn't need to hear that after just buying that basically but that was a year before that anyway done deal but yeah do what you can do and Hopefully some ground comes our way and we can go from there. And if we do lose it, hopefully we don't end up losing a bunch on top of that. Uh, go from there. So, But I will talk to you all later. I'll just post this video here. But talk to you later and enjoy.